Good, Good morning, morning Saints. Saints. Today is Monday, October 30th, 2023. Happy birthday over the weekend to Caitlin Kerrigan, Michael Durfler, Douglas McClendon, Madison Coe, Brana Massalonis, Daniel Rock, and Erica Strathman. Happy birthday today to Connor Becker and Brett Seal. The Saint of the Day today is Saint Alphonsus Rodriguez. Saint Alphonsus lost his mother, wife, and daughter within a period of three years. He retired to his sister's home, and after the death of his son, he entered the Jesuit order where he served as college porter. St. Peter Clavier was a seminarian during St. Alphonsus' time at the college. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, meatball subs. Also, the lunchroom is partnering with Boba Love and having Boba Tea Days once a week, starting Tuesday. There will be a meeting for anyone interested in trying out for the bowling team one today, November 1st in room 220 at 310. This week in the cross country teams competed in the state championship meet at Rimrock Farm. The girls brought home another trophy finishing third with Sophia Spinello and Lily Mock leading the way in 10th and 19th, 19th place, earning all, all state honors. Amelia, Amelia Riddle was 21st, Erica Strathman 28th, Emerson Lee 37th, Berkeley Babcock 53rd, and Greta Kelly in 68th. The boys came into the meet seated 6th and upset DeSoto to finishing 5th. They were also led by two All-State performers, Lance Mead and Carter File. Noah Santon was 25th, Brady Mallett was 35th, Lucas Richardson was 67th, Giga Lomchek was 79th, and Leo Scaletti was 85th. Last Friday, the football team took down Fort Scott 41-14. This coming Friday, we will play an 8-1 eight, an eight Bishop Miege at Bishop Miege. They previously defeated St. James 21-17 to make it this, to this game. The girls' volleyball team were state runners-up this this weekend, narrowly losing to the Topeka Seamen in both their sets. Well done, girls. Canned food drive is happening this week, so clean out your mom's pantry and bring cans in every day. You could also purchase one of these great-looking shirts. A portion of your purchases goes to CFD, and you can wear it with your uniform, skirt, or pants every day this week. Purchase your shirt in the Spirit Shop today for $15, but, dollars, but hurry, there's only a limited stock. Come help mothers who are seeking our help with their pregnancies. This Saturday, November 4th, Teens for Life is offering two opportunities for service hours. Number one, come pray with us on first Saturday, November 4th, Mass at 8.15 a.m. at Nativity Church, and then 9 a.m. prayer at Planned Parenthood in Overland Park. This is two hours, open to anyone who wants to participate, getting yourself to these locations. Number two, also on this on this Saturday, November 4th, we will do first Saturday prayer and then head to St. Mary's home for mothers and work there for three to four hours. Whatever work they need us to do. This is open to 20 students. We will meet at STA at 7.45 a.m., drive you to first Saturday, and then to St. Mary's. We will return to STA by 3 p.m., so this is seven to eight hours of service. In order to participate in the St. Mary's Service Project, you need to sign up with Mrs. Loafman in room 124 or by email at bloafman at stasaints.net. Looking forward to supporting life with you. Saints, listen up. Today, we are going to be having an assembly schedule. That means that your first hour and your go, you're going to your first hour, then your seventh hour, then your fifth hour, and then your STA period. You'll have one hour in STA, and then you will go to the assembly. This weekend, the debate team was in action at Spring Hill. Congratulations to James Sintetti and Louis Vivanco for taking seventh place and to Macy Hughes for winning the costume contest. Team Teen Read Week is upon us, and we want to celebrate. We will ha be having a book drive to support Hands to Heart KC. If you donate a new or gently used children's book tomorrow, August 31st, you can dress in Halloween colors or apparel. No costumes. You must wear uniform bottoms. Bring your book on Tuesday to participate in the fun of Teen Read Week. Now it's time for the dad joke of the day. What do you call a priest who becomes a lawyer? No clue. A father-in-law? <laughs> now for our countdown, there are only one day until Halloween. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Haley. And I'm Cooper. Signing, signing off. Remember, stay classy saints and together we shine. shine.